Well, hey family, long time no talk to. This is Darlene. Um, I'm sitting here packaging up bracelets to mail out. Um, I got a couple of orders for uh, these uh, 20 millimeter and a couple of the 25 millimeter, 25 millimeter bracelets. So I'm sitting here packaging, packaging up bracelets so this these can get sent out as soon as I get them all packaged up and everything. This one is one of the newer ones. This is that hot pink and green, that festive green with the hot pink. This is what this one looks like. Um, and then we have another one. So with that hot pink, bunch of charms hanging from it. I really like these. They fit nice and snug. They look really good on the wrist. You know, like the perfect, perfect fit. I like these. So all these are being shipped out. Um, with this one, I used a bigger jump ring. A bigger jump ring and then a lot of charms on it just to give it a different look instead of putting a big huge um, charm something like this I just went ahead and put a bunch of little charms on it so and then we got this one this one just has a of course a little wire spacer that I made and then a couple of charms so real simple, easy, cute little bracelets. Um, and what I'm doing is packaging them up so I can get them sent out. And then I do use my little plastic bags. And I generally will put um, my little marketing type material just to let people know where all my uh, social media, where they can find me at on social media, just kind of all over the place. And I generally will slide the little card in here, little card or slice a piece of paper, close it off. Just real simple and easy packaging. You know, nothing too, too elaborate. And then I take my little stickers that I have. Take one of the little stickers. And then I put it on the back. Just saying, you know, if you love what's in here, uh, snap, share, review. Basically tag me, share it on any one of my social media outlets. Review it if you bought it off of Etsy. And in this case, these were um, not necessarily custom orders, but a request for the bigger bracelets. So they can go to um, they can go to Etsy or they can go on Facebook or Instagram and tag me. And these are the self-seal uh, uh, plastic bags. The link for these plastic bags is in the description down there. So this is how this looks here. And then take the little sticker. I hope everybody is doing well. The weekend went by real fast. Today is Monday. You know, like, it's just crazy to me. Um, I know a lot of people that are retired people. And um, they say, well, their, their plan was to travel a lot. So they are getting into traveling a little bit right now. Um, but they're a little hesitant only because of, you know, what's going on around the world and in the world. 
you know, as we speak. And also, you know, like sicknesses and stuff, they're being very careful because, of course, they're, you know, they're not old people, but they're older. So they're being very careful about going, leaving out of the states or, you know, just traveling on planes, trains or whatever it is. So they've kind of put things off and I'm just like, wow. So now what they're doing is uh, some some of the people I know are trying to find like a little part time job. I know a couple of people that retired from the military. So their thing is, um, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and try to find a little job or something. Not that they need it, but, you know, just to keep them busy and stuff. And I'm just like the beauty of being retired. So this is one of those brown ones. I made these some time back. I think the video, you should be able to find the video in here somewhere where I made these. Yeah, so I kind of envy folk that are retired a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. And then they also want... Um, more of the fuchsias. So we got a couple more of these in there for them. Go ahead and package it up. Just put it in the bag. I was just stopping by, see how everybody is doing. Um, and to thank all the new subscribers for uh, joining the channel. And I hope that uh, whatever made you subscribe to the channel, that you do see more of that. And that you get uh, some jury making ideas, you know, little tips and things here and there. And just understanding that the way Darlene makes jury is not, you know, uh, the rule to how pe most people make jury. I just kind of do my own thing. The way I make my jury is the way I make my jury. And it comes out amazingly looking for me. So I continue to do what it is that I do. Somebody was asking me something the other day about why don't you use certain tools or, you know, why you don't do this or why you don't do that. And if you do this, it makes it look like this um, because that's and I appreciate, you know, whatever. I, I appreciate the words when they're constructive criticism or if they're just like tips. You know, I get that. I'm not never slashing that at all, period. You know, but when the tone and the way that it sounds is like, you know. I'm not doing it right because you're not using certain tools, right? You could dismiss me with that one. Go to the next channel with that because I'm going to use basically my three tools, maybe some scissors, a marker to make my, my, uh, to make my, uh, what's these things, spacer beads and anything else I want to do. I don't choose to use, you know, many of the tools because I don't need the tools. I don't need them like that. I'm not making things that require the tools. Um, somebody had asked me about a beading mat. Well, why you don't use the beading mat? Well, because I don't need the beading mat. I don't want to use the beading mat. I don't need to use the beading mat, right? Um, it's almost like saying, why you wear your hair that way? Nobody said that to me. Wait, somebody did say that on my other channel. Um, Y'all know my hair be all over the place. So one lady has said, um, I was talking about the Holy Spirit or something. And she said, well, you need to ask the Holy Spirit to help you fix your hair. I fell out laughing. I said, that was a cute one. I didn't answer her back, but I was like, that's a cute one. Um, you need to ask the Holy Spirit to help you fix your hair. And I just laughed at it and kept it moving. So it's almost like your hair. The way you wear your hair is the way you wear your hair. Just because the next three people wear braids or, um, or flat arms or perms or, you know, they wear red or they wear blonde. That don't mean that I'm going to wear mine blonde or wear mine with braids. You know, it's all about, and see, that's the thing about creativity. It's about how you create and what you want to create in the way you want to create it. Not somebody saying to you, well, you know what, use this and use it. And that, you know, that's all good tips. And like again, I don't disregard that. I appreciate every little tip and some of the stuff I do use in the background to create something if it makes sense to me. 
But if it does not make sense to me, I'm not doing it because I like my jewelry to look handmade. I don't want every, where's a pair of earrings at? Oh, let's try these right here. I don't want every hoop to be a perfect hoop because that takes away the character of the earring. It looks manufactured. I don't want my pieces to look that way. So as long as the length of my earrings are the same length, I don't care what this little uh, hoop right here looks like. It gives a character. That's why I do it that way. So if I use the little pliers that uh, somebody, a couple of people have suggested that I use, that gives it an amazingly perfect round circle. And that's not what I want for my jewelry. I want it to look like what it looks like. I want it to look handmade. I want it to look like something that nobody else is making. You know, that's why I sit here and I make what I make because I don't want it to look like anybody else's. So if I start using, you know, all the little tools and all the little things that people suggest, guess what? That means my jewelry will start looking like everybody else's jewelry. And I'm not having that. That's not something that, that I want to do. Uh, somebody else has said something about charms. Um, why do I use the beads? Like how you see the little uh, beads right here where I make charms from or uh, where's another one? Or oh, this one right here. So with this one, you can see where I made a lot of charms using different beads. So the lady said to me, well, why don't you just buy charms? Ma'am, if you don't get out of my box, why well, you just don't use charms? I do use charms. I use, I, I buy charms and I use charms. I buy charms and I use charms. I buy charms and I use charms. And I got a box over here that's full of tokens and, and uh, charms and stuff. Um, and I make these like this because I want to. I make them like that because I want to. And I can. And it's mine. So I could make it any type of way I want to make it. You know, so it's like people. People like really amaze me. I had a lady. Oh, I'm a, um, I probably had about six people ask me this so far. Miss Tia asked me this too about sending uh, beads or different supplies or, or something to me. Um, I am going to give my P.O. box. I'm going to put it in the description at the bottom down there. So if you do have beads or um, extra supplies or anything you want to send me, you are welcome to send it to me. I'm going to put the, the, the P.O. box down there. Um, just understand when you send me what you send me, don't add no instructions in there talking about what you want me to make with it. If you go send me the beads, send me the beads. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make whatever I will make with it. Okay. So if you're going to send them to me, I'll go ahead and accept them. And I have not been accepting anything because the way that some people are, you know, some people, well, um, I want to send you these so you can make, so you can make this so I can see how I could, I can make what I can make using these beads. Well, no, ma'am, that's not what I'm going to do. So if you send me some beads, I'm going to make whatever I want to make with the beads, not to make something that you want me to make. Can it be a bracelet or can it be a necklace or can it? So I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing any of that. Um, so if you do want to send something, you're welcome to send it. Uh, once I put the PO box down there and, um, cause a lot of you guys have asked me that with well, Darlene, do you have a PO box? You know, can I send you some things, you know, like such, um, and a, a couple of you guys, I, um, I talk to enough, like on Facebook and stuff on Facebook and like maybe here and also through my email, you know, where I trust the interaction. I can pretty much sense the interaction that it's a pretty good interaction. So I am going to, um, you know, go ahead and add that soon. I'll put it down there soon. But anyway, um, this is all I'm doing. I'm sitting here putting together these bracelets so I can mail these things out. I'm going to try to get them mailed out today. Ooh, that was a lot of chatter. Ooh, darling, you just chatting this morning. Happy Monday, family. It's a, Oh, some people said they didn't get the digital magazine. If you didn't get the digital magazine, can you let me know in the comment section down there? 
because I've been sent the digital magazine out. Um, a couple people emailed me and said, well, darling, I didn't get the digital. Did you send it? Oh, Ben sent that. Let me know if you didn't get it. If you didn't get it, I'll send it out to you. All right, so this is all I'm doing today. Um, getting these things, well, not all I'm doing today, but all I'm doing on this video right now, getting these things together so I can send these out. Um, I do have some more stuff I need to package up so I can get ready. Um, and this is all it looks like. Very simple packaging. Oh, somebody else had asked me that too, like for fair. <coughs> How should the packaging be on fair? Uh, remember, if you've ever bought anything wholesale, how does it come to you? If you ever bought anything wholesale, how does it come to you? Generally, when you buy wholesale, you get the product in a bag. You don't get a bunch of marketing materials. You, you don't, I don't think anything, I've ever got it like that. I've always gotten just the bag with all the, whatever it is in it. Because remember, you're selling to either a retail store um, a person that does vending. So they, they're their own brand. They're basically just looking for a product that they can sell through their brand. So they generally have their own packaging. They usually have their own labels. They usually have their own everything. So for you to put all your marketing material in every one of these bags, right? See, this is a private customer. So with the private customer, I always put my little social media uh, information there and I always tag it, you know, like with this little tag right here. Um, and then when I put them in their wholesale, I will put one big sheet on there and it will have at the bottom um, all the, you know, their invoice and packing slip. But at the very bottom, it'll have all my social media information at the very bottom. But I don't put it a bunch of marketing materials in there because they're buying in bulk and they're buying for their store their business um and they're not going to put my packaging in their business if their business is called jack and jill and i'm jury by bdk everything about their brand is going to be jack and jill it's not going to be jury by bdk so what they'll do is take your packaging away and then they'll put their own packaging maybe put their own tag maybe put their have it in the bag and then put their own marketing material in the bag to sell it that way so that's like mixing brands. If yours is just full of all your marketing material, that's for retail. That's not for wholesale. Um, wholesale, you don't need all that. You package all that stuff up. I'm just suggesting. You could do what you want to do. Um, I'm just suggesting, you know, pretty much. Um, but for me and what I do, I just package it all up. I don't put all that marketing material and stuff in there because I'm pretty much knowing what they get ready to do with it. You know, and they're buying it so that they can sell it through their brand. Um, and that's all I was basically trying to say. Not trying to tell anybody to do anything with their product. Just suggestion and saying, you know, how I do it. Um, and I think that's it. That's it. That's all. Oh, a couple other people asked me about FAIR again. Um, there's a link. Like, all these links about different stuff that I talk about, they're in the description down at the bottom. Um, some of the supplies that you're asking me about for Amazon is in my Amazon store, and that link is also in the description down there. Um, was it fair? Three people asked me about fair, because people are finding me on Facebook. I think three people in the last week asked me about fair. And um, the link is right there in the bottom, in the description down there somewhere. Um, I don't know if I need to like put it in all caps or something. I'm going to look at it and see how difficult it is to find it. But everything pretty much that I talk about, Amazon store, like for some of the supplies is down there. Oh, and then the beads with the um, the unfinished beads. Those are, you can find a link to the Amazon store in the description that will take you directly to the unfinished beads that I use. And these beads are really good. All the holes, like I've never had a problem with the beads. Hopefully I don't have one going forward. Um, but I've always gotten really good beads. I've always gotten the exact number of beads. Sometimes it might be two or three more beads. I've never gotten less than what was supposed to be in the box. If anything, I've gotten more than what was supposed to be in the box. Um, the quality of the unfinished beads is really good. So the link is in the description um, in the description. So if you're wanting to paint beads and stuff and, uh, you know, just kind of do your own thing because all these I painted. All of these different beads I painted. Oh, and then somebody was asking me about the beads. There are beads in the uh, Etsy store. The last beads that I have are in the Etsy store. 
So all these beads here are beads that I painted. All these wood beads. So these are all what I did. And then the beads that I use, like I said, are in the Etsy store. So you can find them there. I think I can get them in like um, 500 and 1,000. I might, I might get them. But check out the link down there. It'll take you right to that store and then you'll know uh, what I generally buy. But anyway, family, I have talked enough. It is Monday morning. Um, everybody have a really good day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Make it productive. Make it fruitful. Um, and whatever God allows in it, thank him for it. And then, you know, keep it moving. Just keep it moving because we are definitely a blessed people. And guess what, family? We'll talk.